This is Coogan Cassius for I from London. We're in Liverpool here at the Hilton Hotel ahead of the No Retreat, No Surrender show this Saturday night at the Echo Arena. With me, making his second professional outing, I've got GB captain Thomas Stalker. How are you, Thomas? I'm great, Coog. You all right, all right yourself? I'm very well. Um, first fight you had against Christian Late. Have you watched that back? What did you make of the performance? Afterwards, I was a bit gutted I didn't get him out of there sort of thing, but now, um, when I watched the back, I thought the box boxed quite well, and Frankie Gavin phoned me and he said, like, because he's been in with a lot of fighters, he said, me and Jazz are the best two kids he's boxed, that's what Frankie said to me, so it was nice for a little nice compliment like that, And but he's tough, he was a tough kid, and at the time I was thinking, when I put the gloves on, I thought, I'm going to knock this kid out here with these gloves on, but he, he was tough, and it is, it is what it is, I'm looking forward to to this next fight on, on Saturday now and, and pushing on and getting to 2-0 though. But. I mean, this your debut was out of Liverpool but you still brought a massive crowd there. You would have thought that you were probably in Liverpool at some points but now you're going to be in front of a 10,000 capacity crowd at the Echo Arena, your fans at home. So it's time to get this show on the road with Mr Stalker, isn't it? Well, it is. I think I'm going to be on between um, the Derry and Crawley and Rocky Field and fight. If one of them go get stopped, they're gonna put me on b between them. So hopefully I'll have a plan spot as well. And and I'm just excited to to box in front of all everyone who's bought tickets. Um, it's gonna be an amazing night for for Liverpool. And and I'm just proud to be. I'm like a big kid being on a bill cook because it's such a, every scouser and every boxer loves to be on this bill. And I'm, I'm made up. Eddie's got me on it. Um, this week as well, Tony Bellew. Um, the final eliminate against Isaac Chalemba. Bit of a strange press conference. The the head-to-head -head was interesting. Tony does his won't take his eyes off the opponent. You know, how do you see that fight going? I can see. I watched Chalemba the other day on YouTube because I wanted to see what he was like. And that he is a good fighter, but I just I can see Tony doing a job on him. Um, I think it, what people need to realise is Tony wins this fight. He's fighting Chad Dawson for the WBC World Title. It's, it's amazing. Hopefully, get it in Liverpool in the Echo Arena. So, it's Tony knows how important this fight is, and I have every faith in him. He's gonna, he's gonna do it. He seems a nice, humble guy. That's Chalemba, but I feel, do feel sorry for him come, come Saturday because I can't see him win. All right. Well, listen. I'm not gonna take too much of your time. Uh, Saturday night. Hopefully, like I said to you. Only two fights in, it'll be after Saturday, so I was very early on to start talking about things for you, but in a few fights, who knows? Exactly, it's just about staying busy and keep, them, keep, them, keep winning, and by the end of the year I want to be 8-9-0 and, and, and I'm pushing on, so that's what it's about, but can I can say one thing as well, after my last interview, you know, when I boxed, don't interview me so quick, I looked like I was on drugs, like I was off my barney, I watched it back and I, I cringe anyway. But I was just like talking non stop. I was thinking, lads, fucking shut up, Ronnie. Really. That's where the emotion comes from. That's where you get it from. How long would you like me to leave it before I approach well, you? Well, nah, you know what? Just warn me before I talk slower. Do you, know, do you know what it is? I'll tell you the problem is is that the fights happen and we've got like a literally a five minute gap in between each fight to go and get the interview. So if I miss it, if I miss the gap, then we're, we're already on to the next fight and we have a danger of not, not having it. So, I mean, listen, everyone's entitled not to do the uh, interview, but I know that no, I like you've, always, that, but you've always given us your time anyway, so I wouldn't take it personally if you, you know, boycotted iFilm London after after the fight. I do that, iFilm <laughs> Listen, I love this. Like I said, that was tweeted the other day about the Danny Dyer interview. I think that was your best interview. That was, um, you need to get out there and do not just boxers, get, get, get all people like that. Well, we do. We, to be honest, a lot of people don't realise that we don't only do boxing. It's just the boxing outweighs everything else we do. We do other stuff in music and film and some reality TV stuff that people don't like, but we still yeah. do it anyway. But it's just the boxing outweighs all that content. Yeah, I, I thought the Danny Dyer thing was just something different, you know what I mean? I was like, and the questions you were asking him, and he's a, he's a character, isn't he? So I think it was good. So get, get him again. Get him a few times. Listen to him all day. Yeah, well, listen, we'll get Danny, if you're watching this, Liverpool, come on a night out with all these mad scouse boxers, and I'm sure they'll take you out. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, this is Coogan Cassis with Tom Stalker here for iFilm London. Look forward to the fight Saturday night. Thank you very much. Cheers.